applying to a job interview or you're hoping to land a promotion, dressing the part is more important than we might think. In fact, 93% of managers say how you dress at work influences your chances of getting that promotion. So today, style expert Maura Duggan is here to show us the do's and the don'ts of what to wear to an interview. And, you know, it's a tough question. It is. For for men sometimes, and I think even more for women, because there's so many choices for us, but what do people get wrong in general, do you think? In general, I think for younger professionals, recent college graduates, they err on the side of trendy, on the side of more casual. But, you know, the people that you're interviewing with, you want to err on the side of conservative, be a little bit more professional. If you're trying to decide between a suit or just an outfit, you really want to go with the suit. You want to present yourself in the best way possible. Okay, so a little more formal, a little more conservative, maybe, if you're having to choose between the two. Exactly. Okay, well let's see some examples. We have some, some do's and don'ts. We don't have a little black box to go over the face, <laughs> but we do have some models. So tell us what we're seeing. So on Courtney here we have, you know, she looks nice and she looks neat, but you know what, this isn't where you want to go on a job interview. She has on um, a polo and some khakis and flip flops, and while her hair looks fantastic, makeup is great, you know, this isn't the I'm an executive that I'm going to really be able to take the job and run. It's not the impression that you want to give. Flip flops? R.A. No. Yes, as we found out when, um, you know, one of the students who was honored at the White House was oh, flip-flops, remember, remember? Yeah, there was so. flip-flop gate there over that kid that, exactly. that came with his toes So exposed. stay away from that. Right. Closed toe is best. All right, so what do we do? So then we have um, June coming out, and Ooh. she's in a great um, Jones New York suit. Awesome. Um, you'll notice it's just below the knee. We're airing on the side of conservative again. Um, it's a two-button, so it's still modern. She has a bright pop of color for underneath. So, you know, she's still youthful and young, but she looks like she's capable. She can, um, you know, really make a great impression. And the shoes that she's wearing are leather shoes by Giot, which is an Italian brand. And, you know, when you're nervous, your job interviewing, you're kind of, you might sweat a little bit. These are breathable. So you're not going to get uncomfortable when you're walking from job to job. And, um, you know, overall, you're going to feel calm, cool, and collected, and Good. you'll make a great first impression. And the heels are, are what, like about three inches? They're so they're about not three inches. Inches. You don't want to, you know, look like you're going out dancing, but you do want a little bit of height. It helps your posture. You're right. going to stand up straighter in a little bit of a heel. But not enough that you hit the deck while you're walking around. Exactly. All right. Thank you very much, June. Now, our third model is Demetria, and this is going to show us a don't. And what yes. is the don't that so we're looking at? You're not going to a party. You know, you want to look nice. But, and obviously she looks great, but you know, this isn't a Saturday night out on the town. But it's a beautiful color block dress with, um, again, some great um, heels. But, you know, there is a right way to do it. And then we have Otilia coming out in the best way to wear, um, you know, sort of a pulled together. Oh, beautiful. Yes. So now we have the block color dress um, as well, but it's a little bit more tailored. It's a little bit longer. You've got the belt sort of pulling it together. And at the top, it looks like a button down. Um, you know, your shoulders are covered. It's making a much better first impression. And you could put a jacket or a cardigan over exactly. those. Exactly. Um, how do you feel in general about just skin? Less skin? Less skin. <laughs> um, you know, cleavage and, um, you know, too tight of shirts is the number one um, reason that employers aren't going to hire a woman. Really? Um, it really sends the wrong first impression. There was a recent study, 2,000 employers were pulled, and um, that was the number one mistake among women, um, either um, cleavage bearing or too tight of a shirt. All right, we will keep that in mind. Okay, so it's not just for women. We have um, a, a man who's yes. making a boo boo here. Yes. Come on out. So Hi, Jay. This is Jay. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be nervous, it's not a real job interview. <laughs> <laughs> so, for guys, it can be really difficult to find the proper fitting um, suit. Usually, it's, it's going to be a little bit too big, especially if you're younger, you're just graduating from school, from grad school, whatever it may be. Obviously, the suit is a little bit too big on Jay. It's boxy, it's a little bit outdated, um, the sleeves are too long, the lapels are a lot wider. Now we're looking, the trend is a little bit more modern, very slim fitting silhouette. Um, and a narrow, narrower lapel, especially if you're a slim guy like Jack. Okay, so you so, brought something to help him out. Yes, so we brought a fix for that. And then um, we have this J. Crew suit. And now you'll notice this fits a lot better. Oh, look how nice. It's um, narrower in the lapel. It's mm -hmm. only a two-button suit. You'll notice that the um, sleeves are hitting above the... Um, 
sorry, above the white shirt mm -hmm. by about a half an inch. Mm -hmm. So he just looks a little bit more pulled together, a little bit more professional. And, you know, obviously I'm sure he's feeling a lot more comfortable and you can really sort of go into that interview and make a good first impression. Well, it's tough for young people because they don't always have a lot of money, but is it worth it to go ahead and go into a tailor and just make sure that things are That's right? That's what I was also going to say. In this economy, it's hard. You, you really, you have to balance, you know, your... Um, balance the wallet and so if you go to a tailor you can get you know maybe he can put a few darts and he can bring up the break of your um, of your pant leg or something like that and overall it's going to make a world of difference and it doesn't cost as much as you think you say the word tailor and you think it's the, the whole kind of start from scratch suit but it really is just about the proper alteration exactly and and they'll be able to you can even say you know what I have two hundred dollars to spend here what can you do to sort of modernize and update this and the same goes for women too you know, maybe it's an outdated dress that you need to get taken in or even let out a little bit. It's worth um, the investment. Okay. And just very generally, what about makeup? Conservative with this as well? Yeah, but you do, women do want to wear makeup. You want to look well rested. You want to look um, sort of calm, in control. Um, we have this Clarins. It's, um, this is called the Instant Light Complexion Concealer. And so I kind of call it sleep in a bottle. You oh, know? good. Yeah, and everybody <laughs> needs that. You don't get all your eight hours. And so, you know, you have an early morning job interview. You want to look fresh. You put this on. It diffuses the light, and it just makes you look more luminous, well rested, covers up those any dark eye circles that um, you might have, and you're going to look great. And one other tip also, one common complaint in the workplace is people who wear too much cologne or perfume, you really want to keep that at a minimum, but at the same time, you want to smell nice. So um, Lacoste just came out with a new fragrance, and this is the Lacoste Essential Sport for Men. For men? It's okay. really fresh. It's energizing. It's a great daytime scent. Um, and then there's Lacoste um, Pink for women. And same thing. It's, it's great for the day. It's zesty. It's fruity, but it's not overpowering. You're not going to give people headaches or, you know, make a bad That would impression. not be good. All right. Well, thank you to our models very much. Very good advice, and especially if you're just starting out or re-entering the workforce. Samara, thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. In case you didn't catch all of Mara's tip, that's okay. You can give her a round of applause. I'm sorry.